Live from Alexandria, it is day one of the FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League. Our third game of the day sees Interclub out of Angola do battle against Equity Bank from Kenya. Both teams will be looking to start out their 22 free campaign strong. The starting five for Inter, it'll be number two, Johnson, number six, Lucas, 34, Manuel, 22, Mataki, and number 10, Mukuro. While on the other end, for Equity Bank, it'll be number 14, Grace, number seven, Ubungo, as well as number four, Otieno, number eight, Pantaleo, and number 10, Wanjiku. It should be an interesting game indeed. Of course, we've seen two previous games before this in the competition. REG out of Rwanda coming up with a big win in their first game, 86-45. As we get ready to get underway, Manuel will jump for Interclub. That will be Grace on the other end for Equity Bank. Tip is underway into the hands of Interclub. Lucas will control the possession. Lucas, long pull up jumper. Rattles in and out. Rebound was in the hands of Vicky Tukla, but it's taken away in a quick bucket. Johnson puts two on the board for Inter. Equity Bank looking for their first bucket of the game. Obongo dumps it down and now a long range pass. Fantastic from distance. Intieno puts the first three on the board. On the other end, Manuel does battle on the baseline. Her pass goes out of bounds. Last touch of Equity Bank. Makura inside to Lucas. Long cross court pass. Now the baseline drive. The dump inside. It goes up. Matike. Johnson to inbound the ball for Interclub. Lucas. Now top of the key. Nakura kicks it outside. And Matike gets the long range jumper to go. Obungu controls the offense for Equity Bank. Looking to play it inside. Wanjiku collides with the defense. She's whistled for the travel. It'll be a turnover going against Equity. Johnson. Now in the hands of Lucas. Lucas drives through the middle. Puts up the jumper. That's short. Rebound snatched up by Otinio. Obungo, long pass. Oh, pull up jumper, bouncing all around, but won't fall for Grace. Lucas now, hesitation. Dumps it inside. Manuel on the kick out. Now the long range jumper. Johnson knocks it down from deep. Interclub extend their lead to six points here in the first two and a half. Obongo.
Referee blows the whistle. It'll be a three second violation going against Equity Bank. As we see our first timeout of the game. Coming out the first time out, it's Interclub out of Angola who lead Equity Bank 9-3. to three. They got off to a quick start. It's been getting done inside Matiket. She has four points in the paint. As Johnson brings it up. Ball kicked to the side. Cross-court pass now. Oh, and a tough take inside. Mukuru will head to the line as the foul will go against Pantaleo. First trip to the line for Interclub. The first free throw is good. Second won't go, splits the pair, does Makura on the reload, second chance shot, that's no good from Lucas, but she gets it right back and now loses it out of bounds, fantastic hustle from Lucas, just couldn't hold on, ultimately, Obunga, Obunga looking to penetrate the paint, Kicks it outside, and it's another three second violation going against Equity Bank. It'll be the fourth turnover here in the first. Johnson calls the offense for into club. And now Lucas, long range jumper. That's in and out. Great skies high for that rebound. Now inside and the spin. Wanjiku adds two. Quickly the other way come into club and a finger roll from Manuel. Extends the lead back out to seven. Obongu. Cross court pass, long range, shot. Won't go. The ticket. Here's the rebound for Inter. Manuel goes inside. Ntiket puts it on the floor, drives left, tries to finish right. That won't go. Rebound stays with Inter. Oh, and a beautiful dive. Manuel finishes off the perfect pass. Tineo puts up the long range shot, that's no good. Inter, come quickly, cross court pass and the three point jumper. Glides its way down as Lucas connects from deep. Obongo, ball moving around the perimeter for Equity Bank. Pantaleo puts it on the floor, pulls it up. Gets the quick two. She gets her first point on the board. 
Mukuro drives baseline. And she is pushed out of bounds. Foul will go against Equity Bank. It'll be Otieno who picks up that foul. Just her first personal as Interclub prepared to bring it in from the baseline. Inbounded into the hands of Johnson, pulls up the long three. That's no good. A block on the second chance opportunity. Now Ifti Bank running. Kananu stops and pops. That's no good. Rebound stays. And on the putback, race. Adds two points for equity. Johnson. Down inside. It was Lucas in fact. And Manuel makes good on that. Manuel up to six points in the first quarter. Cross-court pass tapped away and it's taken away. Johnson, long pass and the layup is blown by Mukuro. Now Pantaleo on the other end for Equity Bank. Obunga. Pulls up for the long range. Three and knocks it down. Obunga connects for the first shot from distance for equity. Lucas. Oh, fantastic pass inside. Manuel can't finish. Manuel struggles to get her hands on the rebound. The referee will call a jump ball and possession error will favor Equity Bank. As Manuel heads to the bench along with Johnson. Ball turned over, coming back the way of, of Interclub. Lucas stops, pulls it up, pops from deep, hits back iron, rebound secured by Obonga. Now, Ikiti Bank looking to run. Referee says last touch came off Ikiti, it'll be a turnover. Interclub will have another opportunity here. As Obunga heads to the bench for equity. And Silva will now control for Interclub. Silva hands it off to Malangi. Now Johnson. Johnson will pull up another three. Hits back iron once again. Malangi trying to do battle for the rebound. And it'll stay in the possession of Interclub as Lucas looks to inbound. Mukwaro. Oh, inside. Malangi couldn't hold on to the pass. Now Equity looks to score quickly. It's taken away by Interclub. Out in transition into the hands of Silva now. They go inside. Matike this time couldn't quite make, but Matike will head to the line. She'll have two free throws coming up. Just the second trip at the line for Interclub. As Matikit misses the first. Makes good on the second, splits the pair. 
as Interclub come up with some full court pressure. Akiri, pass inside, Grace with the easy finish. Fantastic piece of offense there from Equity as they pull it within eight. Some congestion on the inside and the ball is turned over. Equity, in fact, within six of that last made basket. With just over a minute and a half left to go here in the first quarter. Omondi. Now drive on the inside. Fantastic drop off pass as Grace is fouled underneath the rim. Grace leads all scorers for Equity Bank. She has four. And the defense just being aware of her presence there. Whistle away from the ball. It goes against Manuel. She'll pick up her first personal foul as she does battle in the paint with Akinhi. Inbound pass is stolen away by Interclub. Silva now pushing it down the floor. Silva right through the paint, drops off the pass, and it's an easy finish. Malagi. Gets the two. Equity. Long cross court pass into the paint. Picked up. Akini connects from deep. Silva. Into the pick and roll. Silva. Drives all the way to the bucket. Flips it up and in. Quickly come Equity Bank the other way. Passing to the paint and it's a quick tip in. Akini gets another two. As we go into a timeout, less than 30 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Interclub out of Angola lead Equity Bank 22 to 17. Just under 30 seconds left to go in here in the first quarter. It'll be interclub ball coming out the timeout. Silva. Inter will look to have the last possession here. As the ball moves around the perimeter, long range. Jumper hits front iron. And on the rebound, Mawero is whistled for the travel. And so Interclub will have another opportunity. Silva inbounds. Nukwaro controls the possession now. Nukwaro looks to drive, going downhill through the defense, draws the contact. Bucket won't go, but she'll hit the line.
Makura hits back iron on the first. Makes good on the second, remains 50% from the line. Just three seconds here for equity to try to score. Long pass goes out of bounds, and so it'll be interclub ball to inbound underneath their own basket. Three seconds on the quarter clock. Quick inbound, Silva puts it up. Silva knocks it down, beats the buzzer. And at the end of the first quarter, it'll be Interclub 27 and Equity Bank 19. After 10 minutes of play here, it's Interclub out of Angola who lead Equity Bank from Kenya with a significant eight points. Manuel from Interclub leads all scorers. She has six on three or four from the floor. And Akimi came out hot off the bench before Equity Club. She has five. Silva. Up top now, Malingi. Nakura looks to drive inside, but it'll be a three-second violation. Manuel spending a little too much time in the paint there. Full court pressure now from Interclub. Oh, quick steal. Nakura gets the layup to go. She adds a quick two for Interclub. More full court pressure. Another steal. And another bucket, back-to-back -back steals and layups forces the quick timeout. Equity Club need to talk it over.
A quick 4-0 run to begin the quarter, forced by that full court pressure by Interclub. Forced the timeout from Equity Bank. And now Equity will have their third attempt to inbound. And Equity Club continuing with that full court pressure. This time, however, Equity Bank have a plan. Last touch out of bounds off of Inter. And so Tienu will inbound from the baseline. Ball goes inside. Now Akini tangled up on the paint. Just 10 seconds on the shot clock. Is it to inbound? Otieno almost has the pass taken away, but Amondi secures it. Drive inside, kick back out to Amondi. Amondi now, long three-point shot. That's no good. Rebound secured by Manuel for Interclub. Silva pushes it down the floor. Silva attacking the defense unprepared and she draws the foul. Just catching the equity bank defense off guard. Silva hits the line. The foul will go against Kananu. That'll be just her first personal. Silva makes good on the first of her two free throws. Silva goes a perfect two of two. Full court pressure continuing from Interclub. Long pass. Omondi holding on. Equity Bank throw it away. And now Inter quickly the other way. Layup is blown on the break. Possession, however, will remain with Interclub. As Mukara heads to the bench for Inter. Quick pass inside and the easy finish. Manuel adds to her tally. Another steal coming out of Inter. Silva. Puts the layup up and in. Full court pressure yielding dividends for Interclub here. As they get another quick stop ball. Passed out of bounds by Equity Bank. Equity now with 15 turnovers. As Interclub come up with 7 steals. Ball in the mountain, into the hands of Silva. Silva drives right through the middle. Can't get the layup to go. Rebound into the hands of Equity. Cross-court pass to Pantaleo. Pantaleo pulls up the baseline. Jumper, that's no good. Rebound, Manuel. Silva. Little dribble handle to Golden Ball. Now slicing through the middle, Pascal draws the foul, Pascal to the line. She's in for her first minutes in the game. Pascal, good on the first. Connects on the second as well. Perfect trip for Pascal. As Silva heads to the bench now. 
four into club. And Lucas makes her way back in. Pantaleo gets the double team. Now Equity Bank looking to get over the half. Oh, trapped in the corner. Odiambo turns it over as she straddles the half court line. It'll be Gunbold to inbound for Inter. Lucas with the pass outside. Pascal, reverse layup, won't go. Rebound Omondi. Now quickly down the floor. Layup is no good for Equity. And possession heads back the way of Interclub. Equity Bank coming up with their own full court pressure now. As Pantaleo chases down Pascal. Lucas, top of the key. Dumps it down inside, going to work. Manuel around the defense, can't make. Pantaleo rebound. Adiambo takes the pick. And the cross court pass just overcooked today. As Equity pick up another turnover, they're 18 from the game. Omondi heads to the bench for Equity Bank. As Obunga checks back in, Lucas. Lucas gets the pick. Now looks for the pass. Drive inside. Gabriel makes way all the way. Finds the bottom of the net. Grace gives the handoff to Obunga. Obunga into the pick and roll with Grace now. Finds Grace on the roll. Grace can't quite hold on and... So it's turned over once again for Equity Bank. They're just struggling to put points on the board here in the second quarter. They are yet to score. It's been a 14-0 run for Interclub. Lucas. Gets the pick, does Lucas. Pass outside, trying to find Matike on the inside. It's turned over, Equity Bank now running. Layup won't go. Referee says last touch came off of Interclub and so Equity Bank with another opportunity. Ball to Pantaleo. Can't hold on, but it was tipped by Inter. As we see, Godbold hit to the bench. Baseline inbound for Equity Bank. Pass didn't get to Akini. And so it'll be a turnover, a 22 point advantage here for Interclub. We're almost halfway through the second quarter. Lucas controls. Lucas dribble handle to Pascal. Lucas looks to drive baseline, drop off, pass. Sets up Gabriel perfectly. Gabriel gets the easy two. Obunga for equity. Now Pantaleo. Pantaleo gets her pocket picked. Pasco came up with the steal. Mateus hands it back to Lucas. Lucas finds on the inside. Gabriel 
looks to work against Akinu in the paint and she earns a trip to the line. Interclub have had the opportunity to shoot 10 free throws so far. They were a respectable 7 of 10 at 70% from this parity strike. Gabriel now will look to add to that. Gabriel makes the first of her free throws. She's got five points in the game. It's been pretty even scoring here for Interclub. As Gabriel gets a perfect trip, back-to-back -back free throws made. Oriambo looks to pass out of trouble, gets it into the hands of Grace. Strong drive on the inside. Layup won't go though for Wanjiku. Now into club. Quickly the other way, Lucas. Jumps to the corner, long range jumper. Hits front iron. Wanjiku comes up with the rebound. Equity. Odiambo. Kicks it outside, long shot, rattles in and out, and finally falls. Shooters roll. Obunga gets the three to fall and finally puts Equity Bank on the scoreboard for the second quarter. Lucas, cross court pass. Drive inside, Pasco hits back iron. Strong rebound taken by Equity Bank, rushing down the floor. Grace. Couldn't hold on to the pass, but the pass will stay with Equity Bank as last touch came off of Interclub. And some substitutions here for Inter. As Manuel makes her way back onto the court. Ball inside. Fantastic footwork. Grace couldn't finish. Grace gets her own rebound and Grace on the putback. Adds two more for Equity Bank, but quickly down the other way, Gabriel leaking and getting the lay in. Steal now, Lucas. Lucas puts up the long range jumper, hits front iron. Equity Bank will bring it slowly the other way. Obunga. Dribble handle. Now in the hands of Kananu. Kananu stops and pops. Knocks it down. Kananu from distance. That'll be her first point in the game. Ball kicked to the outside. Long range jump from Interclub. Looking for the reply. That won't go. Adi Humble. Swallows up the rebound for Equity Bank. Adi Humble now turns it over the other way. Lucas. Two on two situation. Lucas. Cross court pass. Now allowing the defense to settle. Lucas. Looking to drive inside. Oh, flips it over the top of her head. Tries to find my ticket. But the turnover will be charged to Interclub. It'll be just their sixth turnover in the game. As Silva checks back in. Hanani. Now ball moving around the top of the perimeter, almost taken away. Mukaro with some defensive hustle there for Interclub. She already has seven steals in the game. Mukaro has been sensational on the defensive end. Kananu gives it up to the inside. Kananu gets it back, puts up the long range three side of the backboard. 
Rebound stays with Equity Bank, and now Kananu puts up a mid-range jumper. Matikit secures it ultimately for Interclub. But there is a whistle on the floor, and it'll be turned back over. And so Equity Bank will have another opportunity here. Just two minutes to go here in the first half. It is a 20-point lead for Interclub out of Angola. Ball inside to Grace. Grace working on the block. Grace whistled for the double dribble. Turnover equity. And it has been a turnover struggle here for equity in the first half. Silva. Out to Lucas. Now Lucas gets the pick and roll. Finds on the inside, but Malangi can't finish. Equity quickly. Long range shot, Abunga can't connect this time. And there is a tussle for the rebound underneath the rim. The foul will go against Equity Bank as Mukuru goes to the floor. It is a 20 point lead here for Interclub. And it's been a dominant second quarter performance for them. They've scored 20 here in the second and have held Equity Bank to just eight points as Equity pressed full court. Malagi. Malagi pulls it back, finds Silva. Silva drives inside, takes it up strong. Silva off the glass. She adds two more, extends the lead for Interclub to 22. On the offensive possession, Equity trying to find Wanjiku inside. She's fouled. Referee says foul happened on the floor, so it'll be an inbound. Otieno inbounds inside, finds right underneath the rim, but Grace couldn't finish. Mukaro now in the hands of Lucas. Lucas, fantastic find inside, finds Malagi. Malagi blocked. Now Bunga controls for equity, long pass down the floor. The stop and pop three-point shot for Kananu won't go. It stays with Equity Bank, however. Otieno will try one from deep and connects. Silva, she'll slow down the position as we head to end towards the end of the first half. Silva attacks the inside. Shot clock winding down. Shot goes up. Mukuro couldn't get it to go. And that'll bring us to the end of the first half. It's been a dominant performance from Interclub so far. They hold an 18-point lead going into halftime. 49 to the 27 of Equity Bank.
We continue with day one action here at the FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League. And in the third game of the day, again, it's Interclub out of Angola taking on Equity Bank from Kenya. Coming out the half, it's Silva who leads all scorers. She has 10 points in just under eight minutes of play. She's been 80% of the floor and two of two perfect at the free throw line. Her effort, of course, has been supported by a fantastic defensive outing by Mukoro, who has seven steals to go along with her five assists and her six points. On the other end, it's been really balanced scoring as Grace, Abunga and Otinio all have six points apiece for Equity Bank. Silva controls the point club. To Lucas, Lucas stops and pops her jump shot. Hits side iron, rebound into the hands of Otinio. Otino picks up her dribble, makes the long pass. Now to the inside they go. Almost taken away, but Wanjiku manages to find her way to the rim. Silva gives it up into the hands of Mukuro. And now, easy on the inside, Manuel adds another two. She's now in double digits, has 10 points as well. Otenio to Pantaleo. Pantaleo looks to drive, but it'll be an offensive foul. Wanjiku moving on the screen there, picking up her second personal. Inbounded into the hands of Silva. Silva's been a steady point guard presence here for Inter. Mikoro into the inside. Manuel looking to work. Long range jumper that one for. Rebound. Equity bank. Wanjiku. With the handoff to Pantaleo. Pantaleo rims in and out of three. And he'll be into club to attack once again. Matiket gives it up to Lucas. Now inside, Manuel working against the defender. Powers up, can't get it to go. Rebound, Ekiti Bank. Pantaleo slows it down, gives it to the trailer. And getting tangled up, Otieno loses control of it. Referee says last touch into club, and so it will stay with Equity. In fact, no, last touch called off of Equity, and so into club will get it. Silver. Silver gets the pick. Drives it all the way to the rim. And she'll get the end one play. It's been a sensational afternoon for Silva. She's played just 10 minutes. She now has 12 points with a chance to make a 13 at the line. It is a 19 point lead for Interclub. They've led by as many as 26 in the game. Obunga going up against Silva. Now on the drive, Grace gives up the pass. Long range shot. Hits front iron. Rebound. It is a struggle for it. But possession will hit the way of Interclub. Lucas. Goes inside. Matikit now kicks it back. Matikit attacks once again. This time looks to find Manuel. And it'll be a three-second violation. Baseline referee calls it. Into another turnover. 
going against Interclub. It's just their eight. Pantaleo controls it for Equity Bank. Hands it off into the hands of Obunga. The foul will go against Interclub. It'll be Silva's second personal. Silva, excuse me. Pass inside, quick, easy finish, Grace. Closing on the gap here for Equity Bank. Silva gets the double screen at the top. Mikuro looks to drive inside. Oh, strong take, finishes left. Mikuro now has eight points. Obunga. Long range, jumpers no good for Grace. Rebound goes the way of Inter. Now Lucas. Into the pick and roll. Lucas dribbles inside, finds the pass. Silva from downtown. She can't connect. Pantaleo rebound. Equity Bank try to come quickly down the floor. The pass results in turnover number 27, however. As Manuel checks out of the game for Interclub. And Gabriel makes her way back in. Gabriel has been perfect from the floor so far. She's 3 of 3 from the field and 2 of 2 from free throw. She has 8 points. And substitutions for Equity Bank, Obunga and Pantaleo head to the bench. As Omondi makes her way back in. Along with Mauero. Silva. Finds Lucas. Now Lucas drops it down inside. Long game jumper. Front iron. Battle for the rebound ends up in the hands of Equity. Otieno. Try to make the cross court pass. Didn't quite get to the hands of Grace, and so it'll be a turnover. As we see more substitutions onto the floor. Johnson, back in control of the point guard responsibilities for Interclub. Johnson, hesitation, pulls it up from deep. That's no good. Strong take on the rebound for Equity. Otieno tried to find the pass inside and Matiget just yanked the chair up from under. Grace there. And so the foul will go against Matiget. And Equity Bank will have an opportunity to inbound on the baseline. Otieno. Inbounds long. Omondi pulls up the jumper and it's good. Omondi gets her first points. Lucas. Gets it right back, does Lucas. Now looks to drive down the left hand side, pulls up the jumper. That's no good. Gabriel makes sure the rebound stays with Interclub. Now inside, Matiket round the defender, rims in and out, and again, Gabriel there to clean it up. She gets two more. Gabriel now into double digits, as we see the long range jumper there, hitting back iron. 
Macquaro this time takes it herself. Takes the tumble, draws the contact. She'll head to the line. It is a 20-point lead here for Interclub. Here in the third quarter, pretty balanced affair though. Just eight points coming out of Interclub and seven out of Equity Bank. Nukur at the line, waiting to shoot her two. The first one rims in and out. She's just been 50% from the line. Two of four before this trip. Makes it 50% this time round as well, and so remains at that 50 mark. As she puts Interclub back up over the 20 point margin. Tough pressure here. Omondi looking to make the pass, and she turns it over trying to get it to Kananu. Equity Bank have had lots of trouble with the full court pressure here from Interclub. Lucas. To the inside. Gabriel drives it right down the left side. Finishing with the left hand. Omondi. Cross court pass now. Drive inside. Fantastic find underneath the rim. Grace. Gets the easy two. Johnson now for Inter. Finds Lucas. Lucas will pull up from deep. Hits back iron. Hasn't been a fantastic shooting afternoon for Lucas. Just one of eight from three as quickly the other way. Omondi draws the contact. And these will be the first free throws of the game for Equity Bank. They are yet to spend time at the charity stripe. As Omondi makes the first. It's Mawero, in fact, at the line. That'll be her first point. She's played just under five minutes as she makes it a perfect trip at the line. Two of two. Off the main free throw, Equity Bank in their own full court pressure here. Misaki gave it up to Gabriel. Gabriel finds the pass. Manuel with the finish. Exciting offense from Interclub. Now, Equity Bank looking to respond. Long range jumper. That won't go. Rebound into the hands of Gabriel. Lucas. Lucas almost has it taken away. But Lusati gets it. Her three won't go. It's kept alive here for Interclub. Johnson from deep. No good. In the battle for the rebound, Gabriel getting tangled up with Grace. And the possession arrow will favor equity as we go into the timeout. 19 point lead for Interclub. 60. To the 41 of equity back.
Eguti Bang ball up timeout. Coming into the full court pressure from Inter. Umondi. Whistle. It will go against Manuel. She commits the offensive foul. Equity looking to attack now. Long range jumper won't fall. Rebound stays with Equity. Omondi. Attacking the inside, Omondi up over the defense. Fantastic take by Omondi. Equity not there defensively, and Interclub coming back quickly, giving Malagi an easy two. Omondi takes the pick, finds some space, pops it. Hits back iron, rebound into the hands of Manuel. Now quickly come into give and go. Manuel gets it back and drops it down. The lead back up to 23 for Interclub. Omondi trying to push it down the floor for Equity Bank. Jumper from outside won't go and Rebound bubbles around, but there'll be a foul. It'll be another foul going against Manuel. That'll be her third personal. As Interclub going to the bonus here, and so Equity Bank will hit the line. Mauero will have the chance to shoot too. Marrero makes good on the first. And misses on the second, hits back iron. Rebound goes the way of Inter. Johnson. Ball moving around the perimeter. Now to the corner, long range jumper, won't go for Johnson, rebound stays with Inter. Taken away now, quick steal. Malagi loses control of the handle and it'll be a jump ball possession. And the possession arrow will favor Inter club. As Lusati inbounds. Malagi sets the pick as the pass goes out to Johnson. Now on the weak side, Lusati. Shot clock winding down, poked away. Quick steal for equity to two on one situation. Layup is blown. Rebound. Is secured by Gabriel. Gabriel coming in amongst all those red jerseys to get the rebound. Lusati will try one from deep. That hits front iron. Now Equity with another opportunity. Quickly down the floor. Ball fumbled. But with the short jumper. Kananu beats the third quarter buzzer. And so at the end of three, it's a 22 point lead for Interclub. They lead 66 to the 44 of Equity Bank.
We are heading into the fourth and final quarter here in this clash where Interclub out of Angola take on Equity Bank out of Kenya. It is day one of the Africa Women's Basketball League. Equity Club, look, Equity Bank, excuse me, looking to battle back. Much better third quarter performance. Just a one point difference there in the third quarter. On the quick attack, the ball's taken away by Interclub. And now out in transition, Gabriel all alone. She adds two more. Kanani. The handoff to Omondi. Now a long range shot. Front iron for Kananu. Battle for the rebound. Last tap off, last touch off into club. Grace dumps it inside. When Jiku goes to work, can't finish. It's called God Bolt, who got the rebound there for Inter. Drive inside. Kick back out. God Bolt. Her long range jumper won't hit. Oh, quickly come Equity Bank, but it's turned right back over now. Silver. Silver. She'll slow it down, find the trailer. Mid range jumper. Godbolt with her first two points of the game. Kanani. Pass to the outside. Omondi now tries to dump it inside. It's taken away by Malagi. Chased down by Gabriel. Gabriel can't quite get there. And so now. Interclub had their 11th turnover of the game. Now we're inbound ball for FC. Kanani looking to drive. Kanani tries to make the pass inside to Grace. Tangled up now, are they? As the referee calls jump ball. And it'll head the way of Inter. God ball. Gives it back up to Silva. Now back in the hands of God ball. She has a wide open shot. Can't knock down the three. Equity the other way. Obunga looking to set it up. Past the outside and off the fake. Mawero is whistled for the travel. It's a slow start here to the fourth quarter for Equity Bank. Silva into the corner. Nkaro tries to make the pass inside. Fantastic defensive read. Results in a steal for Equity. Obunga. Beautiful find on the baseline. Kananu is fouled. And she'll head to the line to shoot too. Kananu just three points on the afternoon. It'll be her first trip to the line. Equity Bank have not gotten there often, but they've been good from the line, just three or four. While on the other end, Interclub have gotten many more trips to the line. They've had 15 free throws, they're 10 or 15. First free throw is good. Kananu now has four points. Second won't go, but there is a lane violation, and so Kananu now with a 
opportunity to go once again. Can I still can't make on the second? It'll be Silva to control for Inter. Ball moving around the perimeter. They find Godbold in the corner. Three won't go, but it stays with Inter. Now Silva on the inside finding Magali. Malagi, excuse me. Bit of a scrappy stretch of play here. Ends with a silver three-point attempt. Hits front iron. Malagi comes up with another chance for Inter. Silva. Up against Pantaleo. Ball to the corner. Godbold takes another three. She is 0 for 4 now from there. Another chance for Inter. As Malagi gets whacked in the block. She'll head to the line. It'll be her first trip to the line. As Silva heads back to the bench for Inter Club and it'll be Johnson who makes her way back in. Malagi misses on the first of her free throws. Makes good on the second. Goes one of two. It does Malagi. Kananu now. Into the hands of Pantaleo. Dribble handle. Obunga gives it up. Wajiku almost has her pocket picked. She'll pick up the foul as Godbold put her body on the line there. In fact, the foul will go against Konami. Just over six minutes to go here. In this opening day encounter at the FIBA Africa Women's Basketball League Interclub. Taking on Equity Bank. Interclub all the way from Angola. Ball around the perimeter. Malagi, top of the key, finds guard bold. Now it's taken away. Interclub coming back quickly in transition. Obunga looking to drive. Obunga. Has it tapped away? Possession will stay with Equity Bank. As Otinho takes back into the game for Equity Shield inbound. Kananu. Struggling to hold on, but she manages to keep it alive. But it's taken away now. Interclub. Godbold gives out the pass in the two and one. And there's a foul. Pasqual is a trip to the line. Good give and go there between Pascal and Godbold. First free throw is good. Perfect trip to the line for Pascal. She now has four points. She's played just under seven minutes. Otenio tries to find Grace inside. The whistle will go against Matikit, who pushed off in the block. And that'll be her second personal foul. And we will have a timeout here. 
coach from McAfee Bank wants to draw it up. So with just over halfway through the fourth quarter, Interclub lead FT Bank 73 to 47. It'll be Ecosy Bank to inbound off the baseline, coming out the timeout. Long range shot. Hits back iron, rebound stays. Obunga secures it. And now a wild pass. Otenio. It doesn't quite get it to its intended recipient, and so it'll be a turnover. Turnover number 37 here for Equity Bank. It's something that has made it a tough afternoon for them as they trail. Johnson gives it up. Now to Malagi. Johnson working against her defender. Oh, tries to find Matikate right under the rim, and Matikate can't hold on. Otenio controls for Equity Bank. Oh, and a fantastic steal. Quick hands by Johnson. Johnson drives it all the way. Can't make the layup on the putback. That's no good either. Equity. Now in a three on two quickly. Obunga finds the trailer and Grace can't finish. Intercub sewing it down. And the foul will go against Grace. She'll pick up her second personal. Baseline fine. Matike. Turn around. Lays it in. Ubunga. Now Kananu looks to drive. Kicks outside. Stops and pops. That won't go, but it stays with equity. And now the long range three overcooked. Rebound the way of Inter. Johnson. Quick find inside, but Malagi couldn't hold on. And so it was Kananu who came up with it. Long range jumper, front iron this time. It stays, however. Teno gets it on the second chance opportunity. Fantastic effort from her. Matiket, pull up jumper won't go. In transition, here come Equity Bank. Quickly down the floor, Bunga adds two more. Johnson, methodical with the possession here. 
Malin Malagi. Back to Johnson, cross court pass. Drive on the inside, find Johnson on the kick. Johnson pulls up the jumper. That's short. Malagi fighting for the rebound, getting tied up with Kanani. And a whole slew of substitutions here for both teams. As we come into the final two and a half minutes of the game, it is a 24 point lead for Interclub. Otieno, baseline pass. Fantastic find inside. Obunga hammered as she tries to go to the rim, and so she'll hit the line. Obunga, the tied second leading scorer with a 10 year 4 equity bank. She has eight points. She's been 60% from the floor, three of five. And it'll be her first trip at the line. Khan made good on the first. Empty trip at the line for Obunga. And it's Gabriel who chases down the rebound, sending it the way of Inter. Johnson makes the pass. Cross-court pass back to Johnson. Now the long-range jumper. Can't connect Pascal. Otenu quickly now. Found one Jiku underneath the rim. And now baseline drive, Otenu won't connect. Johnson speeds it the other way for Inter. Quick find, easy finish, Gabriel now has 16 points. She now leads all scorers. She's been a perfect seven for seven from the floor, two of two from the free throw line. As we see the turnaround move, fancy footwork. Wanjiku adds two more for equity. Trading baskets here late down the stretch. Johnson gives it up to the inside. Kick pass, long range jumper. Pascal couldn't connect. It's given right back though and off the second chance, Pasco connects from deep. Udiambo will get fouled. And the foul will go against Manuel. It'll be her fourth personal. And it'll be free throws here as Interclub are over the limit. In fact, it'll not be free throws, it'll be an inbound. Otieno inbounds to Pantaleo. Pantaleo, her layup won't go. Johnson. Under a minute left to go here. A quick steal. Equity bank. Continuing to try to chip away at the score. Foul on the inside underneath the rim. The foul goes against Matthews. And so Wanjiku will have a chance at the line. Wanjiku makes good on her first free throw. Wanjiku, a perfect two of two as Equity Bank continue with the full court pressure here. Manuel, back to Johnson. Johnson finds Manuel again. 
Now Johnson will slow it down. Johnson dribbles down the middle, kick outside. Matthews can't make. Johnson on the second chance opportunity. She can't connect. But on the third, oh my goodness. Manuel missing as well. And now another chance. And this time it's by Manuel. She gets whistled for the double dribble. And Degutti Bank looking to make the most of the last position here. We have a timeout with five seconds to go. We are going into the final position of the game. Just five seconds left on the clock here. Equity Bank choosing to advance the ball into their own half. Let's see if they can get an execution here. With what Coach Rodriguez drew up. And Omondi will dribble out the possession. That'll bring us to the end of the game. And it is Interclub who will walk away with the win against Equity Bank. They pick up their first win of the competition. Final score, 80 to 55.